Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Piper and this is another SVK short. Today, I'm gonna do something I don't think we do that often and every time we do do it, it's the same ingredient. We're doing rotisserie and guess what? Not gonna be chicken today, stay tuned. saying to yourself, I've never used my rotisserie. And if you have used your rotisserie, you've probably never done pork loin. Well, today, that's why we're here. We're gonna do a little bit of pork loin. We're gonna bacon wrap this. We're gonna add some garlic to it. And we're gonna keep it real simple. A little bit of olive oil, cracked pepper. Really, really simple, but it's gonna be so tasty. And we're gonna take our time with it. We're not going to cook with really high heat. We're gonna render some of that bacon down. We're gonna let it do its thing on the rotisserie and we're gonna get the most beautiful pork ever out of this. So let's take a look at how we break down our pork so it's ready for the oven. Right off the bat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this in half because that's the plan anyway, is we're gonna cut this thing in half so that it's just easier to deal with and it's easier to put on a rotisserie. So we're gonna cut it in half. Okay, and we're gonna move this aside and we're gonna work with one piece at a time here, okay? And you know what? Oftentimes you can leave a lot of the fat on. I'm gonna just take a look and see what our situation is here for silver skin because silver skin will not break down no matter what you do. That silver skin will not break down. And oftentimes, you know, when we're we're doing chops and they're a thin chop, you know, you might be able to get away with having some of that skin there. But I'm gonna take all this off and clean it up so it's easier to wrap with bacon and just so we don't have any kind of tough spots in our meat. We want it to be ultra tender um, and we want that bacon wrapped around it. We're gonna have it rendering down. So we don't need all this. Some of this fat I may keep, but a lot of this is just silver skin I'm gonna get rid of. So let me pick up the pace on this. I'll trim it up and then we'll get back to it, okay guys? Trimmed up, we have no more silver skin. And what I've done, I've just added a little bit of salt. I'll give it a touch more here. We're seasoning it quite aggressively. I have a nice scape salt that I'm using. And I'm gonna use some cracked black pepper as well. And relatively coarse. Okay, we don't want just a, like a, a little dusting. We want some nice big pieces of pepper in there. And then we're going to wrap this whole thing up. We're gonna get our bacon wrapped around our pork and we're gonna get our pork onto the rotisserie. Stretch it a bit and fold it under a bit. I'm gonna just keep rolling all our garlic in here. Once over again and keep it going. Press everything in and that, press it down, and there we have it. It's a nice looking roast. We've got our pork on the rotisserie, or we're getting it on the rotisserie, and we're gonna slide it down, and we, we won't get it all the way, oh, we won't get it all the way on, um, because it's not that wide of a piece of meat. But we're going to kind of clamp it in here. There we go and we're going to get it on that rotisserie right now. Okay. We're gonna go 300 degrees here, and we're just gonna let this thing run on convection and rotisserie, and I'm gonna check back in with you and let you know how we're doing, okay? Stay tuned. I'm gonna try something I've never done. I'm gonna allow the drippings from the bacon and everything sit uh, or drip onto the second piece of pork and we're gonna have it within the onions and everything like that. And I'm gonna do almost a little bit of a braise. And I just had this cool idea and, and I think we're gonna incorporate a little bit of beer in our recipe. So let's break down this onion and then uh, let's pour ourselves a pint. Hit the bar. Over 
over my shoulder there. We're all set. We're at about 140 degrees right now. So we're gonna let that pork rest and we're gonna make sure all the juices reconstitute back into the meat so we don't have dry pork when we slice into it. But the bacon is crispy. Our other piece of pork under there looks absolutely beautiful. All the drippings are just going all over it. It's sitting within that beer and those onions. It's absolutely beautiful. So we have two options here. We have our bacon wrapped pork and we also have just that kind of the drippings and like almost like the braised pork. So let's get into it. Guys. So we wrapped our pork with bacon. We have it seasoned up with scape salt, cracked pepper. We brushed it with some olive oil and we just did a really slow roast until it was ready. We took it out at 140 Fahrenheit and let it rest so it's juicy and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, just beautiful. So I'm gonna slice into it and I'm probably gonna make myself a sandwich. Until I see you next time on an SVK short, my name is Dave Piper. Happy cooking, guys.